Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chimp coming to you live from the Glitter Chimp warehouse to go over and do a live tutorial on making a beach tumbler. Um, so we're gonna wait for y'all to jump on and I'm gonna get my stuff prepped up and we will then get started while you guys get on here. So um, let me know when you jump on, say hi so I know you're there and we will get this started. Hello, Carolina. Goodness, that is cold. Hey, mom. My mom's on. Woo. Oh, and hi, dad, because you'll be watching too. <laughs> so cool. Everyone's jumping on. Awesome. Um, so tonight we are going to be doing the beach tumbler. This is coming from the beach pack that we just did. And um, hey, Barbara. Um, so we just had this beach pack go online two week two Fridays ago. So a lot of you will have your beach pack already. So you get to do the tutorial with me. And this is really fun because this cup is really easy. Um, we, I mean, it's gonna go quick. So this will be a really fun tutorial. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna get my epoxy mixed and we're going to get started on this video. So I'm gonna mix up my epoxy. So I hope you guys have been having a great week. Um, I didn't get to do a live video last week, but we did post the uh, the uh, fishing lure tumbler. So, you know, that's another good one for Father's Day. And, yay. Hey, Deborah. I bet the weather's nice and cool up there in Michigan. Not like down here. Well, it's not that bad. It's been pretty nice yesterday and today. <laughs> it's not that humid. Hey, Roxy. Oh my goodness. This thing is not wanting to go, but that one does. All right. So, um, tonight we're going to be doing our normal, um, I'm using CCDIY's medium viscosity artist resin as I do in all of my videos. So, that's what we're using tonight. Um, we will make sure to include a link below if you don't already buy other epoxy. Um, also, we are using a awesome, super cool, state-of-the-art wooden popsicle stick to stir our epoxy. So, um, yeah, let's get mixing on this epoxy. Um, I already have my cup prepped and sanded, and I'll move the video down in just a minute, and we will get started. So it's fun. It's quiet in here tonight. We don't have a whole bunch of people working this evening. So yas. Hello, Chiquita. By the way, guys, I wore my glitter chimp t-shirt today at the glitter hair don't care. Woo! So excited to finally have some new glitter shirts. Asking, how do they prevent glitter bumps? Um, well, sometimes they have, but it just depends on the type of epoxy you get, or not epoxy you get. Sorry, the type of glitter you're using on your epoxy. Um, otherwise, what you'll do is after you, if you're doing epoxy method, you can tap it down uh, with wearing gloves, and that will help lay it flat. Um, and then afterwards, if it's still a little bumpy after you put the second coat on, you can lightly sand it and it should make it nice and smooth. So, Keely, if you don't mind helping me move the cut, the... Yes. I need to get a remote one. Yeah. That'd be so much better. Is it this one or this one? This one. That one. All right, here comes the fun part, moving the camera down. Oh yeah, there we go. We're getting there. Yeah, I can adjust accordingly. Perfect, okay. yes. Can you dim the light thingy? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of reflection. This one? I don't Let's know which see. one. Sorry guys, we're adjusting the, whoa, no, not nope, that one. Wrong way, sorry guys. Ooh, there we go. Is that oh, better? That's much better. Okay. Oh, perfect. I don't feel like I'm being blinded. Yay! Ooh, hi from Montana. It's a good place. All right, so I have my epoxy mixed. I have it in two cups and I don't know why, but I have two cups. 
So, mm, let's get this started. So tonight we're going to be, like I said, doing this beach tumbler. Um, you don't have to use exactly the same colors we're using. You can use any colors you want to use. But, um, hey, Rebecca, how's it going? Um, we're going to be using tonight Toes in the Sand, White Out, um, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Blutiful, and Tranquility. Um, we just did that because adding a little chunky mix at the top kind of spices it up a little bit. So, um, oh, I forgot to take the lid off this one. Whoops. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got okay. these. Sorry. Keely is off to the side reading me questions that are being asked. So, okay, um, we're going to start with the bottom and work our way up the cup. So, I already have my cup and it's sanded and prepped and ready to go. Just going to turn that on. Woohoo! Okay. So, let's get this video started. I get my fingers on the glove the wrong way. There we go. All right. So um, I'm just doing this the epoxy method. It's just a lot faster and the glitter actually will help move together, which I do love. I have too much paper. Oh my goodness, it's stuck together. Got my fancy Office Depot paper. Woohoo for Office Depot paper. <laughs> All right, so, hey, Melissa. So how we're gonna do this is just start pouring the epoxy on, making it nice and smooth, and um, making sure they get the bottom nice and well. So let's get started. Hey, Brittany. Okay, so I'm using gloves. Um, people can use the brushes if they want. I just prefer to use my fingers because I like to be able to feel how smooth the epoxy is and that it's across the entire tumbler. And I'm gonna make a mess while I do it because that's the only way I know how to make a cup. Someone's asking, how do you keep glitter off of your wood grain cups? Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I try to do those in a separate area from where my glitter is, if possible. Um, usually I have to ask my husband if I can do them in the kitchen table just for that because they will have glitter on them. Um, but I also do warn customers that it will have glitter on it if it's a non-glittered tumbler. Not by choice, but it just kind of happens because it'll fall off your shirt, your hair, your cat, any of that stuff. I mean, it's just, it's impossible. It happens. <laughs> Even Michael's tumbler that I made for him, the first one has glitter on it. And I wasn't trying. All right, so we're gonna get a nice thin coat of epoxy on this cup. Um, tonight, oh, just so y'all know, I'm using a 30 ounce hog modern curve uh, tumbler. It's obviously not painted, it's just on the stainless steel, but I did prep it so it was nicely sanded, which is always good. Uh, you don't have to spray paint on this cup because we're not using any of the rainbow glitter, so it won't pick up the base color. Um, but you can prep it like with paint. Uh, but for me, I don't do it on this cup just because I'm using all uh, basic glitter, so it's not going to pick up the base coat at all. Okay, that looks nice and smooth. I'm making sure I didn't miss any spots. Uh, we actually have to put um, screens over the cups at night when we leave here because there's so much dust and stuff that's in the air that it just, no matter what, it gets on the cups. And a non-smooth cup just drives me nuts. And it's actually fine. There's actually glitter on this already and I haven't even put any on it. Uh, Where's Carrots? Carrots is at home, sleeping, I'm sure. Um, he comes up here during the day. So um, I probably use about, for this type of cup, it's probably two thirds, or not two thirds, eh, probably about three fourths of an ounce. 
maybe-ish. Um, if you ever have extra epoxy, like, I mean, I have extra epoxy in this cup. Sorry, you can't even see it. Um, I would just mix it with some glitter and pour it into a mold, um, which I don't have any molds right now to do that to, but hey, I will do it later. I had to step away. Did you answer the question about what the beeping is? The beeping sound? No. Just. What is it? It's the glitter being filled. Oh. You don't even hear it anymore. I don't. Yeah. I hear it now that you've said something. Right. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, that's someone filling glitter. You're hearing them adjusting the machinery. So, um, yeah, the shirt, I love the shirt. We also have like, they. we also did like coffee cups and other, my daughter wanted a pillow for her bed, so she has a pillow now. Um, but the link for all that stuff's below. But all right, let's get this started. Got my fancy clean paper to catch glitter that falls. So we're gonna start with, um, toes in the sand and what you're going to have to do is kind of visualize where you want the glitter to be. So we're doing one, two, I don't even remember five colors. So you kind of have to visualize how a beach looks. So we have a lovely thing to reference. Um, so you're going to go about halfway up the middle, the bottom section. So you're going to want to go to about an inch from the seam down here. So this is the seam here. So you want to go about an inch up and away we go. Brittany wants to know if you're using fast set. I am not. This is just the medium viscosity stuff. It has a longer work time and for videos, it's especially better for me so I can answer questions as I go. So, um, toes in the sand, which is our color shifting ultra fine mix. I'm just going to, Slop it on there. And this color is gorgeous. And this cup is great because if you're going to do epoxy method with this, you can actually have this cup glittered within about 10 minutes. Maybe faster than that. Um, yes. So, okay. Gladys will post where, uh, we'll put a link on here where For you got your which epoxy yeah the epoxy Sorry. okay so i saw i think i saw it because she asked about fx i don't use fx epoxy anymore they changed their um formula so that it's no longer recommended for making tumblers i don't know what they did to it um but uh so i switched to cc diy epoxy and i use the medium viscosity and it actually works really well for down here um, with the humidity and everything and the heat. So that's what I recommend, especially if you live down here to use. All right, so I did the bottom color, which again is toes in the sand. And you can use any beach color. You can use crushed seashells if you want. Um, any of those will work. Uh, any of that will work. It's just sand castle, any good tan glitter. You can even use real sand if you want to do um, like keep sand from like a beach trip you went on. Um, so that was, this is toes in the sand. So now I'm actually going to skip the white, um, and go into doing the first blue. And I'm actually going to do, uh, so it's breakfast at Tiffany's is the next color. So you're going to want to leave just a little bit of a gap between toes in the sand and where you start breakfast at Tiffany's. And the reason is because you're going to want the white glitter to lay across the top. So it gives you that real nice sea foam look. And the nice thing is, is that using white out, it's a white matte glitter. So it's not gonna pick up the two colors behind it, but it blends super well. So like I said, that's why I do the blue next. So we're gonna go with uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. So you're gonna skip a little bit, just a little bit, not too, too much. I'm trying to like visualize now where I'm going. <laughs> I wish we had blue water down here. <laughs> we have that lovely gross brown. Ugh. I'm sorry, I just thought about Galveston. <laughs> that water's so gross. If anybody ever tells you that they're coming to Texas to see the beach for the first time, they've just made a mistake. Just warn them. <laughs> they've made a huge mistake. Yeah. So what you'll see is that the blue is actually starting to get to where it's going to touch toes in the sand, which is great. 
because then it's going to help blend it, which is why doing beach cups with the epoxy method is amazing because then your colors will blend together on their own and it saves you time. So I'm saying, why not use beach foam? You can use beach foam. This I is just, just what was this in is, the this is what was in our, the beach packs that we did. Um, and we went with whiteout because it kind of, a lot of people will get stuck on what the name of a glitter is and not think about other color choices. So that's why I like using like breakfast at Tiffany's. A lot of people probably wouldn't have thought to use breakfast at Tiffany's for a beach cup, but it's a great blue for an oceany blue. So now I'm gonna use white out and do the little line here in the middle. All right, and you're gonna be very like gentle with it. You don't wanna do too, too much. Um, oh yes, toes in the sand. Yeah, it has a special name in the warehouse too. All right, so uh, you're just gonna do just a very thin line of white. You don't have to go crazy. You can do multiple lines of white if you wanna really get multiple kinds of waves going in there. Um, but I just kinda do just a very light dusting of where I want the white to go. Um, and it's nice, cause I know it's kinda hard to see in the video, but um, the blue actually starts to kind of peek through the white as the two colors are blending together, or three colors, sorry, are blending together. So you can kind of see some of the sand behind the white and some of the blue. And I mean, it's just a very small line, nothing too, you don't want to go too crazy and, you know, make it real thick. You want it to look really nice and soft. So that's about as much white as I'll put on there. I may come back in a little bit and maybe after I finish doing the other two colors, kind of blend it a little more but just a real nice, very light line. And like I said, so that's white out. Um, yeah, you can add alcohol inks to it, but it'll, you'll wanna do that for the second coat of epoxy that you put on over the glitter. Um, otherwise it's just gonna stain the color of the glitter. So next is blue, what am I doing? Yep, Bluetiful, which is the darker blue for here. So this is gonna be the deeper ocean blue. All right. Oh. Lots of extra things on there. All right. Can you do the Mod Podge first? Somebody's asking. Yeah, you can, you can start with Mod Podge. Um, I just, like I said, I like to do it with the epoxy method just because I get a longer work time out of it. So I'm going to start with my darker blue, which again, this is beautiful, but you can use any blue you want. Like I said, this cup gets done pretty quick if you start to finish. I'm gonna turn this just a little bit. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, that's good. So I'm letting the lines kind of run a little bit here, but I'm gonna do my, my special ombre method of the salt guy thing where I sprinkle it. Just kinda helps it just to here with blending the lines. And yes, that's a, I don't really know how to, other than it's just like the salt guy does in the video where he's putting salt on the steak. <laughs> Why do you leave a space between colors? Uh, with the epoxy method, it's going to cause the colors to run together as the glitter moves, so it thins it out a little bit. And it just kind of helps with less harsh lines and it makes it a little bit easier for me to ombre the colors out. So what I'm going to do right now is my blue lines right here are a little, a little harsh. So I'm actually going to go back in with some of the breakfast at Tiffany's to, <laughs> sorry, someone just got splattered with glitter. It's funny. These are the things we laugh at here. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle this on here. You're fine. We have fun here. All right, so that's just kind of gonna ombre itself. 
All right, so that's good. And I'll let that spin. And now we're gonna go in with one of my favorite blues, which is Tranquility. This is a mixology glitter, but it's a chunky, it's only, it's just chunky and ultra fine glitter, but it's such a gorgeous dark blue. It's kind of like a really nice, like dark, dark sky blue, almost like a night sky. I just kinda, I love how it looks when it blends in with the blues. Cause it gets a bit, it's got a bit of navy. It's got a bit of, I don't know what color that is. It's just a nice, good navies and like some teals. Cheyenne's uh, favorite. It is Cheyenne's favorite. Cheyenne uses this on a lot of cups. So I'm just gonna start from the top cause I always wanna make sure that the top of the cup is always well glittered. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. That's what I was feeling like. Woo! I don't want to sneeze. The glitter will be all over everything. <laughs> That'll make Keely go crazy. Mm -hmm. If I were to sneeze and launch the glitter across the whole yeah. area. We don't like to waste glitter. God, I love that color. Mm. Tranquility is a very underrated mix. They're having too much fun over there. I can hear it. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. All right. So it's nice. So we add restock every Friday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I've been staring at the cup for too long. I looked away and everything started moving. <laughs> um, but 8 p.m. Central, we post all of our restock list ahead of time so everyone can kind of see what's going on stock. It's not always, it's not everything, um, but it's everything that we filled throughout the day because we or the week because we do fill here in house. So we try to make it that everyone knows what's coming on stock when. The restock list is already up yes. under announcements. Yes, it is. Okay, so now if you can look at the, so it's got a nice subtle fade between the mix and, uh, so Tranquility and uh, Blutiful. Um, I'm not very happy with this line, so I need to work on that line. Um, but that's cool. That's again, why the epoxy method's great because you have extra work time to play with it. So I'm gonna add a little more Blutiful to help break that line up just to here. And I already saw it was a little heavy handed on one of the glitters. Got a little, a little rough spot right there. So here's my little rough spot where I went a little overboard on the glitter. Happens to us all. But that's cool, fun trick. Just put the decal there if you're having to put someone's name on it and no one will ever know. What's a good substitute for blue Tiffle? Grover? Grover, Smurf. Smurf. Um, I'm trying to, oh my gosh. You could do blue bonnets too. Oh, yeah. That would if be you great. wanted to do a holographic one. Blue bonnets is a good one. Well, corn flour is probably too light. Huh? I have to look at the wall. Electric blue would work. Oh, electric blue. I think corn flour would be good. I, I can't see it. Oh, there it is. It's a good dark blue. Yeah. Yeah, corn flour would be really pretty, actually. Maybe the next beach pack. We should do that. Ta da! Okay. Oh, that looks good. So, like I said, this is actually a very quick video. It's basically doing the, an ombre, but multiple times. <laughs> um,. And that's really it. I mean, it's, you can sit here and play with each line until you turn blue in the face to get it perfect. But the nice, the, what's gonna happen though is as the epoxy is constantly moving, it's going to spread and turn and kind of do what it wants to do, which is why I like it. That's why I always do the white line in the middle, which I'm gonna do actually a little bit more, just a touch, just a touch. Nothing too crazy, but a little sprinkling. Cause 
because I think I can see a little too much. I seriously feel like I could do that for days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I will tell you that no matter what, you are your hardest critic. So typically the flaws you see, other people will not see or even pay attention to. <laughs> yeah. So that is a beach tumbler. Um, and they're, re they're really nice, especially with right now, this time of year, these are probably one of the most popular cups that you'll be able to sell. This and the pineapple, pineapple cups. Um, and also the red, white, and blue, anything red, white, and blue right now is going to be another really popular one. So what I'm going to do though, is show you guys a quick preview for stuff though, that's going online on Friday. So, oh my goodness, turn that out of the way. Um, we do still have beach packs online of this cup that we just did. So limited amount. there's very limited left, but they've been online for like two weeks. So someone's asking about restocks. How quick do things go? It depends. It depends on what it is. We are restocking more and more of every color when we restock. So things are staying in stock a lot longer. I mean, Tears of My Enemies is still in stock from four weeks ago. Yeah. And I mean, that's our most popular color. Honeycomb is still in stock. Honeycomb is still in stock. Beach packs are still in stock. I think the pastel packs are still in stock. I, there's a ton of stuff still in stock. Um, so, but what we are gonna have online, um, what can I show for the pineapple cup? Oh, uh, I don't have one. It's just a pineapple. It's so what you do for a pineapple cup. I don't have one here that's made, but what you're going to do is you would use like honeycomb and white and a white, um, glitter on top. And it's, you put the little decal that says, um, Oh, stand tall, be sweet and always wear a crown look, like that decal. Oh, yeah. That's a really popular one. I'll try to find a picture of one because I know I've made them in the past, but they look really good. Um, but tomorrow night we will have, please forgive me because this cup has not been done past one coat of epoxy. Uh, so it needs some, some work, which is why it looks a little rough. Um, it just needs to be sanded and another coat of epoxy. Um, but we will have the Patriot pack, Patriotic pack that's hard to say, um, which is Little Red Corvette, America AF, and Deep Blue Sea that will be going online tomorrow night, which um, if you're getting ready for the 4th of July, these are the cups that you want to make. Um, and you can, of course, add anything you want into this, but this is just, we threw this one, we did this one last night. Um, so you guys could see what the colors look like and it just turned out super duper great. Um, which is again, so that's the patriotic pack, but the pack that everyone's probably going to really, really want is of course the wonder woman pack that we're going to do, um, tomorrow night, which will go online. And, um, the colors for that pack are going to be scarlet, blue to full again, and Hey there to do this cup. And I will do a tutorial on how to do this cup. And I do this tumbler a little differently because all of the stars and the W are actually done with um, heat transfer vinyl. So, which is cool because you still get a super glitter effect because it is glitter. Um, it's just instead, it's gonna give you some really smooth and clean lines. So we'll do a pack that will be available um, tomorrow night with these colors, I will post also alternative colors that you can use for those of you who, you know, you already have maybe two of these and you don't want to buy one more, um, or you already have other red, blue, and gold colors. Um, but I will show you guys how to do the heat transfer vinyl as well on the tumbler. As you can see, I haven't done, <laughs> I need to put another coat on here because I just put the uh, heat transfer on. But heat transfer is great because you get some serious detail out of your vinyl on your cups. And when I learned about this, it blew my mind. Uh, so we'll do that in a special video as well when we do the Wonder Woman cups. 
So we'll have Wonder Woman and the Patriot Pack because, yeah, just we're putting everything we can into these videos for you guys. Um, so, but this one will be a really popular one. I'm sure the packs will probably sell out quickly, but you know that in advance now. So, um, but there's so many other, colors there's so too. many, if you can't get the pack. There's other, so many lots other of options. alternatives. So, um, this cup, uh, we'll do a tutorial on, it won't be next Thursday. It'll actually be the following Thursday. That way everyone can get the packs in and everyone can do it at, with us. And it's done with Mod Podge and vinyl. So it'll, we'll get it. We'll make it every, so everyone can do it along with us. Cause this is a really fun one to do. And if that's not enough for tomorrow night, we have the Domino. Can you grab me the molds? Yes. Sorry. They're over by the computer. Um, for those of you who like to play dominoes or are looking for some really fun things to do as gifts for people, um, we will also be having tomorrow night go online is the dominoes molds. Um, these are amazing. Everyone in the warehouse has been playing around with these. So this is a beach themed one that one of our glitter fairies made. And I mean, these things are so cool. I told her to make me a pack of this because I want, <laughs> I want these for going camping. Oh, really cool. Yeah. Play some spinner. So, um, these will be going online as well tomorrow night. Um, I don't remember how many we have going online, but I know that we still have a bunch more coming in next week. So we'll make sure to keep them in stock as best we can. Um, but the Domino's packs are going to, it's two molds. Um, I saw someone ask the price. They will be $45 because it is two molds. And I mean, it's a lot. I know it seems for, ooh, ooh. Okay. Um, <laughs> So here's the, the domino. Okay, so the white dots were painted with acrylic paint. Acrylic paint. Um, they weren't, I mean, it was just acrylic paint. She said just a basic white. I think she even said the brand was like Apple something. Apple something. From Walmart. Um, so, but you can, I mean, just for whenever craft shows start back up again, when the, you know, the world reopens, um, these will be, oh goodness, these will be super great to, uh, have as little pop, like packs and stuff, especially God, Christmas time. Oh <laughs> Think about that. You can make so many different, like, oh my gosh. I, I mean, the things are endless on these. Um, but so we will have these on tomorrow night and as well as the other two packs, I think we may throw some perfect, are the perfect pairings, perfect pairing packs going this week or next week? I don't know if they're going to go this week, but definitely next week, I think. Next week for sure. So yeah, so these will be online tomorrow as well. Yeah, Rebecca's asking when are, are they available now? So tomorrow. Tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central Time, they will be on Lime. Uh, yeah. And then all of us can play dominoes together. <laughs> I want to play right now. <laughs> so anyways, that's what I've got. Um, we do sell straw topper molds. I'm not sure what's left in stock right now, but we do have a ton more coming in. I mean, it's, I know there's a ton of molds coming in uh, next week for sure. So lots of new molds, lots of new molds. Uh, I just, I'm the most excited right now about the domino ones because I want to play with these so bad. I can't stop touching them. Everybody should get dominoes and play dominoes with me. Can we play dominoes, Keely? Yeah, let's do it. Who wants to watch Keely and I play dominoes? I'm <laughs> just kidding. I am not that good at counting. All right, so anyway, so. People are asked, a couple of people have asked, when are we gonna uh, show a sneak peek to the July box? Next week? I can do one next week. I can show them one right now. Just a little teaser. What? Okay. Well, we did do one last, we did one last week with the watermelon cup. Oh, grab the watermelon cup off my desk. Oh, the one with yeah. frenemies and punch drunk. I think it was punch drunk. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh. So when I did the watermelon tumbler tutorial the other night, oh God, that looks like terrible right now. The light's like way too bright. Uh -huh. Hold on. The lighting is not the best. Wow. God, it's too bright, too bright. It's too bright. Oh, there we go. There, perfect. Just leave it like that for right now. Okay, so here it is in natural lighting. Um, this is a preview, I guess, for um, the sub box for July. This is Frenemies and this is Punch Drunk. Um, <laughs> when I put it closer now, it's like really dark. Um, Frenemies is the green version of Tears of My Enemies. So, of course, you get Frenemies. Um, so this is the, I mean, the green is so pretty. So sparkly. And then the top one is Punch Drunk, which is a pink to silver color shifting chunky glitter, uh, which I'll post a picture of this online so y'all can see it for a little preview on the Facebook page. Um, and just so you know, the white here was done with uh, beach foam, I believe. Yeah, I think it was beach foam. Pretty sure it was beach foam. But uh, yeah, Frenemies is what's on the bottom and Punch Drunk is the pink on the top. But this is the watermelon cup from the other night. Lindsay's is over there. So, yep. So that's that one. Um, can we get watermelon seed glitter? I bet I can. I can look and see if that's available. These are just done with vinyl, like just black vinyl. The cup, oh, this is the red swirl cup everybody always likes. <laughs> this is the first cup I ever, well, actually, it's the second cup I ever made. But this is the second cup I ever made. It's my baby. And it's, don't be too impressed. I'm drinking water tonight, so. <laughs> Someone's asking details on the sub box. The sub box. did say it's every other month. It is, it's every other month. It comes with, um, I have to think now. Three ultra fine glitters, two chunky glitters. <laughs> Sorry, there's children. Um, three chunky glitters. I'm gonna hold on. This is gonna be crazy. Let me fix the camera, so you're not just talking to my hands. Yeah, let me do it. I got it. Got it. Sorry, guys. That's my face, like right in your face. Um, okay. So, uh, it comes with three colors. Uh, three ultra fine glitters, two chunky glitters, and three mixes. And now I'm like super duper dark. I feel like it's super dark. Hold on. Ooh, there we go. That's a little better. Um, and um, it's a mystery pack, so you actually never know what you're getting. But we always make sure that all the glitters that are included are, it's a theme. So um, they all go together, and they're really basically coordinated with whatever is the current season, what's gonna be more popular during that time of year. Um, for the July box, we're doing a summer fall box. So um, it's colors that are really big popular ones for the summertime, which is why we went like a really nice bright green and the bright pink. Um, we also have some fall type colors getting ready to go into the fall cups because if you're making cups for like the spring right now, obviously it's too late. Um, for those, but uh, that way it kind of keeps on with the time of year. Um, but it's really fun. Everyone really likes to do the uh, the sub boxes. It's just kind of a fun little surprise. We try to make it always very coordinated so that colors go with each other and everything like that. So, yep. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the boxes are still open. The boxes won't close until how many days are in this month? The 30th. 30th. <laughs> or until sold out. Yeah, or until they're sold out. So um, we very, very rarely sell out. I think we've only had that happen. No, we've sold out quite a few times, but we've... This year it's been more than normal. We're upping it. Twisted each other's arms and made more. And by twisting each other's arms, she's the one that's twisting my arm. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. That's why we do these videos too. <laughs> What's wrong? Hi, Olivia. She's stealing candy. Um, but yeah, so that's what we have for tonight. So we did the beach cup. 
super awesome. I'll show a picture of what it looks like when it's all finished um, and epoxied again tomorrow. Um, and from how it looks right now, it looks perfect. Um, so I missed that last question. The oh. cost of the box is every other month. So every 60 days you're charged. $52. Shipping is included. Um, unless you live outside of the US, it does charge you a little extra for the shipping. Um, it just depends on what country it's going to. Um, I actually think the most expensive country that it goes to is Great Britain. I can't remember. So, um, yeah, that's all I have really for tonight. We did the cup, it's fast. The beach cups, you can blow through those really quickly. Um, just like kind of like the watermelon cup. It's pretty straightforward. Um, oh, thank you, Paula. I'm glad you got to watch. Um, yeah, so we'll have all the pictures of what's being added to the website that's new is already on the Facebook page, so you can see them online on there, as well as they're on the website if you just look under the new just released section, or I think it's just released. Um, they're listed underneath there, yeah. as well as some of the stuff from last week that's still new. Um, and always check the back in stock section. Always check the back in stock. That's where everything that is in stock is listed. So you guys thank you so much for watching um i will post all the links and everything that we used tonight on the description below in case you missed it and oh thank you rebecca um don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our videos and hit the bell the little bell notification so you always get notified when we add new content to the page and we will get some new packs made and I will post um, an event for when we will do the Wonder Woman Tumblr. So, um, which will be two weeks from now. So not next Thursday, but the following Thursday. And I'm gonna make Keely do it with me. <laughs> okay. You've never made one. No, I have not. No, I know you have not. I've only done one Mod Podge cup and that was on the last video. Which one was that? Oh, the leopard print. Yep. So I'm gonna make Keely do this one with me. You saw me do this the other day. It takes minimal-ish. -ish. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest part's laying the vinyl. And then it's easy. Um, so yeah, so we'll do this pack in a couple weeks. I will have another video to add next week. I think I might do a special little cleaning a cup or something. Just a little something that people need to know. Quit looking at the calendar. I see you looking at the calendar. She's looking at our idea board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. Let's see. Tequila sunrise, which would be similar I to that. I can't even read my writing. So. Really? All I see is the word fruit. I definitely did not write fruit. That says fruit. This is how we work, by the way. I don't see it says fruit under tequila sunrise and then northern lights. What's in between that? It says fruit. I, I was trying like watermelon. <laughs> oh! Like, I, don't, I didn't write that. <laughs> All I see is fruit. Northern Lights, Milky Way. Oh, thanks, Valerie. Um, just sign up for the sub boxes. If you on the website, there should be a, there's a little button at the top that says, you know, uh, monthly subscription box. And you can do that uh, on there. But I'll make sure to post the link too. Um, but anyways, that's all I've got for you guys tonight. I mean, it's tomorrow nights. The packs are going to be super awesome. Um, I, I honestly can't wait to do this cup with you guys because this is a lot of fun and it's easy. And now Keely has to do it, which makes it even more fun. We won't drink during that one. No. <laughs> we won't drink at all during this video. Um, so... What is the purple? Oh, I love when they find stuff behind me that I'm, I don't like, remember seeing. <laughs> oh, wow. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, this is Obsessed and an Ultra Fine. And this bottom color is actually. Oh, my gosh. No. I'm like, I want to say it's Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh. Yeah, it's Sugar Plum Fairy. I had to think between Pinkie Pie and Sugar Plum Fairy. So this is Sugar Plum Fairy and Obsessed Ultra Fine. Pinkie Pie would be cute too, though. Pinkie Pie would be very yeah, cute. Yeah, Sugar Plum Fairy is right there. It is that. 
Yep. Sugar Plum Fairy. Woohoo! Okay. So yeah, that's. I need to finish this cup. Keely's gonna make me clear out all of my cups that I have just sitting waiting around. Oh yeah, that's that's what the next video could be too. What? The Q and A. Ooh, yes. Next week, maybe. Okay, yeah. We'll talk about it, but we'll post no, more. Let's just, just say it. Hey, I'm off for that. Hey, let's go ahead and plan it now. So next Thursday, we will do a special Q and A video. You guys will get to post the questions, and we'll answer them. Well. We'll do our best to answer them to our best abilities. Just please don't ask me tax questions because I am not a tax advisor and I do not understand money and taxes and all the legalities between different states. Um, so any questions I'll answer within reason uh, <laughs> about tumblers, glitter, and all of that jazz. So we'll do that next Thursday on I'll post a little an invite already so that y'all can start asking questions for me to answer later. So you guys have an amazing night. Happy Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. For those of you who are still working. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow's Friday. Right? Woo. This week has gone on forever. Yeah. This week's been a long week. Uh, yeah. So that's all I've got. So you guys have a great night. We will talk to you guys again soon, and we will see you guys next week for the Q&A on Tumblr making and Tumblr business. It'll be a lot of fun. And then the following week, we will do the Wonder Woman uh, Cup. So you guys have an amazing night, and we will 